Alrighty guys, first day back home 100% after the Mastermind weekend. I have been so motivated, like all day yesterday and sat and worked. All day today I'm sitting and working. I actually filmed this morning with someone named Mike Visuals and that video will go up next week because he's not gonna get the workout back to me yet, but you guys will be seeing a workout in this video later on. But regardless, I had a lot of stuff to do today. You guys saw in my last video everything that I was doing and by the time you guys are watching this, my website would have already launched. Thank you guys so much for everybody who ordered a shirt, everybody who purchased a training program, everybody who joined the Ignite Your Fire six week challenge. I'm super, super excited about that. Registration may or may not be open still. I'm gonna put it on the screen here whether or not it is I am capping it off at a certain amount of people because I don't want there to be too many people in the group yeah I had a workout today and the workout that we filmed it was like very weak. I was very weak and it was really frustrating because I haven't worked out in the last three days and I was doing deadlifts and I was like I am really my body just feels like rested but too rested I took too many days off and I haven't power lifted in like a full week and it's not a good idea so I felt pretty bad but I'm gonna talk to my coach about it and my central nervous system was kind of all over the place so we're gonna get to work but first I am cooking up or heating up pancakes egg whites turkey bacon from bite per usual you don't have to use meal prep to uh, live your life you can have regular food but I am obsessed with bite meals and I'm going to have it and I'm also putting um, nuts and more birthday cake on top of it because it's the best peanut butter in the world. It has sprinkles in it and it's crack. You can't tell. It was your day. The amount of things that go in to creating a website are so much. I had, I had no idea. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it and like I've been literally, like since I got home from the gym, non stop like all day and I'll probably work all night if I have to just because there's so many like little things and things that I can't personally do like my web developer is doing a lot of stuff and there's like some issues here and there and I just have to like do a lot of this so it's okay it's gonna be amazing I hope you guys like it for the last 10 hours straight. Literally, I've not gotten up, but I can't say I'm not really excited for the website to come out. Either way, I realized I hadn't taken a shower. I've taken a shower, but I hadn't washed my hair in like five days. So I washed my hair and I just got this Vanity Planet ceramic straightening brush. They sent it to me and they wanted me to try it out for you guys. This, it's a brush. Hey there, good looking. Here's a little something to step your beauty game up. I actually really like the packaging of this. It's nice. But yeah, they wanted me to try it out for you guys. Oh, it's a brush. Interesting. I have no idea how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna show you guys right now while I'm just getting ready. Why do like these little things have to be wound up so? Okay, got it. Very interested in you. Is it hot? I don't know. Ooh, this is kind of nice. You get like an actual frizzy piece of hair to see. It's actually kind of cool. I only have it on 250 and it hasn't heated up all the way yet. Let me put it up. This is awesome. I actually really enjoy this thing. You know what else is cool about this thing? I can travel with it and I don't have to pack a hairbrush because I can just use this as my hairbrush. Yeah, this is amazing. All right, yeah, hair is all straight. I actually really, Really enjoy this product, so if you guys are interested, um, I was given a discount code for you guys. If you go in the description box, it's available there. You can get half off, and I think it makes this thing like 35 bucks if you use the code. So go in the description box if you guys are interested in this thing. I think it is awesome. We need to get back to work. Almost done with the website stuff, and I'm probably gonna head to bed and catch you guys tomorrow for my workout, which is gonna be early AF, and it's gonna be in a different place and you've never seen this place before. So, catch you guys in the morning. Obviously, it's quite early, and I don't like training fast, and so I'm gonna eat one of these and head out. beautiful morning today. We're headed to the apartment gym to work out. I've actually never lifted in the apartment gym, which is weird. I just go do cardio there, but I just, I don't know, like I've never lifted there. I don't know if cameras are allowed there, but we're gonna go anyway.
guys, we're filming a new podcast episode today with this girl. Yeah. So yeah. excited. <laughs> I'm a little bit intimidated, not gonna Don't lie. Don't be intimidated. <laughs> I'm You're to just you. talking to one of your best friends. It's not scary. I know, but I'm like, there's gonna be so many people listening to this. It's okay. It's just like a conversation. It's like the first time you do anything. I get nervous too, still. So I get nervous still hosting, like doing the podcast. I get nervous about like saying things the wrong way and not asking like good questions and stuff. Right? Like we're fine when it's just us, but the yeah. pressure's on. There's no pressure. It'll be fine. There's no pressure. There's no pressure, right, guys? You're just, like, listening to people talk. It's fine. Yeah. I'm excited. Okay. But that's what happens when you build a country solely on one thing. You know, you don't All have... your eggs in one basket. Yeah, exactly. So, I wanted to break into that industry because it was a very, like, good industry to be in. And when I broke into fitness, I really started to find my passion. And my mom was a single mom, and, like, I was helping her raise my two younger sisters. And I had a lot of pressure on me back home, raising my sisters and um, making sure that there was discipline, making sure that they were getting their homework done, and going I, to school. And are you the oldest one? I am the oldest the one. one. I'm the oldest of three. I'm really good at this. Like, how can I make money doing what I love? And well, my dad got really sick with cancer back in 2013. And I know Canada does things a little bit differently in terms of like how competing is set up and mm -hmm. federations and Very like the different. national shows and stuff. Guys, I think Randy's interview was probably one of my favorite ones so far. Yeah, you made it. Was it was so good. <laughs> I'm so excited for it to come out. Me too. Podcasting is my favorite. I love YouTube. Don't get me wrong, but podcasting is fun. You just get to talk and it's fun. And it's new. You love it because it's new. And it's new. Yeah. Like YouTube, I have a system and it's easy and podcasting is kind of a challenge. So I'm holding an apple because I'm going to eat it. Um, Anyways, and apple. that's all I wanted to tell you in this clip. <laughs> Anyways, this is my apple. So I have an apple and... Uh... Guys, I'm currently at the hair salon. I'm here with my hairstylist, Jennifer. What's Hi. going on? You guys oh, nice have seen camera. her in a... Yeah, thank you, I got a new camera. I'm here getting my hair done and we're just darkening it up a bit. And I'm just sitting here like working at, in the middle of the hair salon, but you don't mind, right? No. no. <laughs> She's a business entrepreneur too, yeah. so we connect on that level. <laughs> oh, it smells like a fresh, I don't know. Nice. Feels great. Yay. I live about a mile away from where I am right now, and I'm just in stop and go traffic. So it's gonna take me like, we got 5.53, I'll let you know when I get home. Just got home and I am like starving. My cravings have been really weird lately. Like I haven't really been craving food that much. Like I just, what do I want? I don't really want anything. Rice and I'll figure it out. Give me a sec. <laughs> Hundred eighty one grams, egg whites, rice, spinach. The whole website coding issue, like he had to find like the missing link. Like you can create a certain website with like Squarespace or WordPress and it can look decent and it can do certain things to be a little bit better and do a little more. It's so neat hard. Yeah. Just got off the phone with Brian. If you guys are wondering the next time I'm gonna see him, it's a week from by the time you guys are seeing this, I'll see him in a week. I'm so excited, I miss him. It's been a while, so I'm really excited to go see him next week. But first, I am headed to San Antonio on thir Thursday. My brain, my brain. Today's Tuesday, I'm going to San Antonio on Thursday. I will be there Thursday through Sunday. Saturday we're having a meetup. The next day is the Pardomas workshop, and then I'm headed to Houston for a day super, super quickly, and then I'm headed back to LA, and then I'm headed to DC to see Brian. So it's been a long day, and that's all I got for you guys for this vlog, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you guys in the next video. Leave me some comments below with stuff that you wanna see from me. I haven't asked for subscriber suggestions in a while, so why don't you leave me some stuff below, and I will try to provide you with what you guys need and want. I'll catch you guys in the next one.